Yes, people are already going crazy about buying NFTs. But what if you made the process more interesting, more like a game? This is exactly what was done with The Merge, a new project by the pseudonymous digital artist Pac. The work was sold as separate units of mass, digital tokens that together would constitute the complete work. Buyers would later receive one NFT with their accumulated mass a while after the sale. Well, what's the game here? At the beginning of the sale, each edition or unit of mass cost $575. But you could also get it for just $299 if you've already bought pack NFTs before. Hashtag loyalty points. Every six hours, the price went up by $25. And there was a bonus for those who bought in bulk. For every 10 masses you bought, you would get one for free. Buy 1,000 and get 300 free. Not fun enough? A leaderboard was posted during the sale, which anonymously showed the amount of mass being acquired, with the top 100 and top 5 being awarded a special style class. Well, now that the sale's over, game's over, right? We can all go home. Not quite. If a collector manages to buy the merge NFTs from other collectors, rather than gaining another separate NFT, the accumulated mass of the buyer's NFT increases while the seller's NFT is destroyed. There's also the alpha title to play for, awarded to the system's largest mass or top collector. The game, Mrs. Hudson, is on. The game sounds fun, but did it work? Well, more than 28,000 buyers spent an eye-watering total of $91.8 million to acquire 2,66,445 total units of mass, making it the most expensive work to be sold by a living artist, beating Rabbit, a 1986 sculpture by Jeff Koons that sold for $91 million in 2019. This sale highlights the increasing gamification of the arts market and proves that if the thirst for NFTs ever does linger, Creators will surely find new ways to draw in buyers. If you like the video, drop a like and subscribe to the My Mini Karma channel to keep mining crypto knowledge. Its price only seems to keep going.